I want to show you a couple of tools that help me with uh, malware analysis. So here I have a malicious word document inside that uh, zip file. It is uh, protected by password, password infected as is uh, usual for malware. Here we have the doc file. And uh, a tool that I developed to analyze uh, malicious word documents and Excel. It's called OliDump because the file format here of those doc and XLS files is uh, the OLI file format. So as you can see, OliDump can extract the malicious document from the zip file and then analyze this uh, malicious word document. And as you can see here, there's a macro in here. So we can have a look at this macro. We select stream seven and we are going to decompress the macro because uh, the macro text is uh, compressed. Okay, and here you have the macro. And as you can see, uh, it is uh, obfuscated. So what I did, I developed a plugin that will uh, help us the obfuscate this macro. It's called VBA summary. Oh, sorry, I forgot to provide the file. Here you go. Okay, so and again, it finds the streams and here then when it finds a macro, it will select all the lines that contain the word function, the word sub, or a string, so a code character. So, and this is actually the same macro code, but it's already uh, more of a summary. It's uh, easier to see because a lot of the obfuscation uh, now is gone. You can see here that you have uh, an X or I function, an hex to string function, auto open, auto open, workbook open, and then here a, f a function uh, with a name that cannot be pronounced. And you can see a open here with a call to X or string and things like that. Okay. So if you take a bit uh, more time to analyze this, you will uh, realize that the URL here is actually in this variable because we have this function here that is called with this variable and then environment and so on. This is actually the URL here, this hex string which is encoded with this hex key. So you can, for example, decode this with the script that I wrote for uh, the 0 10 editor uh, by copying this uh, hex string, pasting it in a zero ten editor and then decode it with uh, with this key. So we are going to do that, but here in uh, the command line, it's a bit difficult to copy. Right? If we do, for example, this, you can see it does it does a block copy. So that's that's not very useful. Now I have also a special program, a tool. It's called uh, Send to uh, CLI. It's a GUI application that helps you launch command line applications. So and it works like this. You right click here on the file name, you do a send to and you send to CLI. And then this program here comes up that I developed. So here you have the file name on which we are going to work. This is the directory in which we are going to work, the working directory, and then you can select the command that you want to execute here from a pull down script. So let's do this here, this command, this is our command. Run only dump the plugin VBS summary. And when you run it here, you saw Python briefly appearing, and then here now you have the output in this uh, GUI application which is much easier to copy. So let's do this. So as you can remember here, this is the name of the variable that contains URL. So let me select this. 
in this hex text. And here in Zero 10 editor, I'm going to paste this from hex text. Okay, so these bytes here are the uh, encoded URL. This is the key. So let me copy the key. Like this. And then I will run, run my script, XOR selection, that allows you to uh, XOR. So I provide the key. Since it's a X key, I start with 0x, like this. Okay, and now here you can clearly see the decoded URL. Now, you may remember that I also have a plugin with the uh, HTTP heuristics. This uh, plugin was not able to decode the string, but I also updated it so that now it also takes into account that strings can be XOR encoded. And uh, if you run this plugin now, here, you immediately have the result. 